So, we should be online now. Uh, so yeah, basically I just started up a couple of tables, hoping to get some, some action. So far I only have this table, so it's kind of like, well, pretty boring for the time being, but let's see. The other day the action picked up pretty nicely, so hopefully it will do, it will, it will do the same today as well. Uh, basically all the tables I got here is equal to five ten bucks um, all five cards and here at my other user I have two five card piano tables equal to three six dollars blinds and Two six cut tables, one three six dollar and one five ten dollars. Well, more or less. So let's see, hopefully we can make a killing today online. Hopefully it poss it's possible to repeat uh, Monday where I won like, I think approximately, I don't know, roughly like 15k USD. Sunday were pretty bad though, so, but still, nice score Monday and terrible, terrible Sunday. Uh, so the thing is, well, here we are, we are actually registered for a tournament here as well, so let's jump right to it so we can Oh, here we will roll in, of course. Oh, all tables are closed right now. <laughs> we have to start up new tables. Uh, sure, let's just run it once. It's kind of a... Oh, that's a bad flop. Oh, what do you know? We held up on the first flip of the day. So yeah, right now it's basically heads up because of this guy sitting out. On the table here we are. This guy is sitting out. Sorry about that. So, open ended straight flush draw. Interesting. Let's check back here. Uh, he should be high card. He should have a lot of high cards when he call out of position here. So, I think we'll take the free card. Hmm. Well. I really can't rip anything here, can I? Nah. 
I think you have like three nine anyway, so no, you had threes. Jack, Jack, Queen, three, so. Logger Jacks, top pair. You might end up being fancy and chip race me on the turn. Here, bottom two, I think it's fair to do this hand. It's a limp race. That's a bad card. So, hopefully, we can extract some value here. No! He had the better fall. He should race me though, but... You won't hear me complain about that, he didn't. Oh, so <laughs> I was responding to methods and ended up a bit of the flop. I'm going ended up checking by mistake. So I actually think I'll turn this one into a bluff here. Probably getting cold. Yeah. Well, he had the straight as well. So, what do we have here? It doesn't seem that interesting, this action. But let's keep an eye on this table. So yeah, basically to the question chat from Chimai SC2. Uh, first of all, welcome to the stream. And uh, yeah, regarding how much heads up I do play, I used to live from playing uh, heads up. Uh, I I played a lot of heads up, uh, mainly PLO four and PLO five. So. It kind of depends when I'm when I'm opening the tables uh, how much heads up I do want to I do want to play. Uh, mostly, uh, well, I tend to stay away from the high variance uh, heads up matches. Um, I mean, there is a lot of. Uh, a lot of decent rigs, good rigs. Um, let's love this here. Uh, 
who basically just sit because they they want they want some action, which I find pretty pretty stupid. So, well, depending a bit on the mood, because well, <laughs> if I feel like there's a lot of uh, recreational players online, the table will will be a short-handed table table really shortly. Then. Then I will stick around, uh, even though it's uh, it's a bad match equity wise. But trying to secure my spot at the table. But mostly I will just well, well leave and then then join the table again if uh, if I think the opponent is uh, is too too good of a player. Because well with this rake structure in here, um, which I think is pretty general for all the applica application, uh, like, well, PvP poker, here at Suprema poker, U poker, wherever. Um, the rake is, is really, really high, and it's you're, you're basically getting killed if you if you want to play heads up against uh, someone someone who actually do know how to play play heads up um so yeah that's that's basically the question <laughs> of the answer to the question so as far as i We've got some hits up here. Still have this other table here as well. Um, as far as I remember, this X flag FC is kind of, uh, well, not the worst player, but definitely a recreational player. I think I'm just going to its second barrel here. And now I kind of like hate my life, so five should be good, but I don't think I can call here. I need 33%. How many outs do we have? Uh, I don't think he has a flush draw here, so five should be good, which he's blocking. So three fives, I guess. Two sixes, two tens, three, three, that's ten outs. Mm. Yeah, too expensive. Uh, so let's see here.
So, um, well, this is a Bree Byte tournament. Ah. <laughs> I feel like gambling, but better not to. So, anyway, have a settled. Uh, thanks for the questions and welcome to the welcome to the stream. Um, I'm not sure whether I can speak loudly uh, about rateback deals, but yeah, I do have. Uh, you have a really, really nice deal here at the Suprema Poker, and you, if you wanna, you can you can contact me. Um, I do have a Discord user. Uh, I'm not sure though how to how to share the user with you, but if you wanna. Um, my Telegram user is in the description. Um, and what else? Instagram as well, I guess. Um, let me check. Yeah, I do. If you go to the to the main page on the social, you can see my Telegram. Uh, Twitter is. I don't think my Twitter is active at the moment, but Telegram, Instagram, YouTube, and my email. Uh, feel free to contact me. Um, as far as I can see, my. My Discord is shadows85, uh, hashtag 2229 for contacting me at uh, Discord. Um, so yeah, feel free to contact me. Regarding what stats I use the most and how they influence my decisions. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, main, uh, mainly, oh, that's a nice flub, it seems. Mm, let's check raise this guy. No free cards here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not using my stat that much. Uh, well, of course, I'm pretty focused on on the well pre-flop race uh, volume put in pot, like uh, well the standard, the pretty standard um, stats, and um, well basically how much they three betting as well, giving uh, the position, uh, etc. I mean, like from time to time, especially in five cut pillow, um, it's kind of like decision whether you, you should jam if you're holding, uh, I don't know, maybe an example like ace, queen, queen, 10, seven, uh, of whether you should fold, depending on on the stats, of course, the stacks as well. But I think that's uh, those are my three favorite stats. And then, of course, also how much they they do fold in the blinds. If I can open race uh, pretty lightly from late position uh, from the bottom. To, to steal, or if it's better just to tighten up my rings a bit. Uh, that would be my my main stats. Oh, so we raised some wreck here, and uh, got a pretty nice flop. I think he got a two outer here, so with aces, uh, don't want to give him any more free cuts here, I guess. So let's just 
Let's just jam it. We're hoping that he he went for it on a blank, but apparently he didn't. Mm, let's get in line for this table as well. Just one back door draw here. Uh, probably a bit loose calling here. But I do have some nice bluff cards. Should be able to bluff any 10, any 8. 5 will give me the second nuts. I think it's fine. A bit loose, but fine. So, as you might see, five card action is well, pretty non-existent at the at, for the time being. Put it up or pick up later. Uh, should be a nice turn. Let's just go ahead and put here. And oh, uh, probably won't call here. Ah, that's two four combination as well. I thought it were like. Uh, do five six flop so only one straight combination. I missed I missed that. Mm. Let's raise a double suited hand here in position. Nope, he didn't want to play. Double suited aces, not the best connectability though. Well, I think it's fair to free bet here. Good call as well.
Well, I would really, really hate my life if he decided to jam there, but I think it's fair to bid both for protection and extracting value against some weaker draws if he decides to call. Let's just take it down. I think I'm leave this table for now. So, still no action or whatsoever. We've got a spot here at this table. Beside that, it's like, ugh. No action at all. So this guy I want to play, this one should be a 3 bet. Yeah. I actually see no reasoning in betting here, well, except for like maybe extracting some value from queens. Well. So the question is double back door whether I well I might get it in bad here but I don't want to make mistakes well now I should get it in a pretty good shape here So he decides to three bet. Mm. Well, let's just go with it. I 
suppose you might have a wide range here. Like here. And 63%. Uh, here. Let's run it once. Hold it. Mm. Oh well, we did. Let's trade here in the tournament. So, lucky me. Uh, whether I should value bet, block value bet here, or I think I will. Go for the chip call as well. So, just a second, guy. I'm just going to hit the lights. It's getting a little dark in here. Uh, hang on for 20 seconds. <laughs> Oh well, so now you should be able to see me, I still can't see you guys, but that's alright. And still no five card action whatsoever. I don't even think there's any <laughs> that's sick. The best we can do maybe some two four. So back to the six card action, decent flop here, I think. Go ahead and bet, even though we're not holding the not flush draw. Might be better shit calling though. Yeah, uh, that's kind of like a down. Uh, Let's go once. We do have a back door as well. So here, let's try getting us ourselves a stack in the tournament. Alrighty. Unfortunately, we're getting it in three way here. Oh, hopefully a nice flop. Oh, yeah. What a surprise. 
And yeah, that's kind of like why we're probably better falling here, so we have to let it go. So, unfortunately, I don't think we can call a check race here. Uh, not with just the back door flush draw. Mm, yeah, well, we're covering this guy, so let's... Let's play it a bit ag aggressive. Uh, so you do have aces of what? Probably so. Probably so. Oh, let's peel a flower and see where this takes us. Um, yeah. I don't think we can we can fold here. Not with a bounty play as well. So yeah, let's go with it. Mm, no, not enough. Oh well. <laughs> that happens when you you're playing your your tournament a bit aggressively. Um Well, yeah, let's just go with it, and we'll rebuy if we, we ain't going to win this. Probably gonna end three way again. Both wanna wanna hunt down my bounty. Yeah. So well, double got it for the nuts. Speed it up. No. That's the wrong speed, unfortunately. Oh well, one more rebuy. So here, yeah, let's sure let's go for the check race. Oh, depending, yeah, now I'm definitely going for the check race. I mean, now I do think there is some nice folding equity. So we should hit this this flop pretty often. I'm not blocking absolutely nothing here. So five should be good. Any diamonds that's not pairing should be good. King eight. Easily 33% as needed. Mm. 
Yeah, you're my hero. Well played, sir. It's a fishy calling with that hand. Hmm. Nah. I could. Three bell bluff this guy here, but decided against it. You might feel like that I'm um, that I'm too tilted, so he will just call me down with eighty plus. So I think this guy limp called. I think I'll go with one third of the pot here approximately. See where we at. I really don't like that we we ain't blocking anything, but well, worst case I do have a I do have an out. For the royal floss. So, oh. you want to try me at 20, 25, 50. All fine with me. Mm. Here, uh, well, yeah, that's what I fear. Anyway, let's peel a turn. Let's see if he's serious. Uh, looks like he is a watch. Let's check call here. I could bet it as well, but I under the gun range. It's a 
I mean, in my underground range, I do not have that many straights uh, here. I'll rebet this guy. This guy. Oh, let's get soon. He reacts uh, here. Forcing a thing that he <laughs> that he might call here pretty often, or even race me. Nope. It's like, I don't feel like bluffing, but then again, not blocking, if I'm not blocking the block of kings there, then which bluffs do I have? Salvaje. Here. Check back so far. So little fishy, but we have the ten as well. Save us and maybe the five. Oh, the ten of clubs. <laughs> so unfortunately I think we have to hold here do we Uh, let's see a bit here. Uh, I think I'll actually bluff this here. Mm. 
the blues here. Racing this end, but let's give it a go. Oh, that's a nice flop. Um, hmm. I think we have to bitch here. Yeah, so probably a flip here against his rep draw. It's gonna get it in, run it twice, probably split it. Wow! It's not a flip. Wow, wow, wow. So 83%. Well, let's run it once. Ship it. <laughs> I thought for sure he, I mean, I, I thought for sure he had something like 7, 7, jack, queen, maybe with some backdoor draws, he just wanted to go with it, but well, nice surprise having 83% equity there, is that kind of like the only... Well, I had a set of eights blocking. I well, didn't block any nine, but then again, I I were blocking the eight as well. So just one combination of uh, one of eights in the in the deck. So here, well, sure, let's go for half a pot bit here. And also I'm going to lose this here. No. Oh. That seems a little fishy, probably better check raising for him. For him, I mean, given the fact that he's holding the the king. Hmm. Well, he might have aces, but what can you do? Let's get it in. Yeah, 55%. Uh, well, let's try it twice if you want to. I think you want to gamble, though. Yeah. King ball. Hmm. Yeah. Um, that sucks. Still, no 
five card action or whatsoever. Huh. It's kind of like impressive. I've I've never seen so little action. Uh, huh. At the five card seats. Oh. Now we might have a table running here. Let's see here. Live for the time being, I think. Nah. Probably a bit screws under the gun. So nice, nice flop. Just flopped quads. <laughs> now I might even be drawing dead. Let's see. Uh, so definitely have some bed here. Here, mm. do think he has a lot of flushes? Well, straight here. Yeah, I don't want to bluff this guy. Oh, might have been a good decision. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was talking about the five cut table. Just totally forgot that uh, that I need to shuffle because well, there's been no action at all. So here he clicked pre flop. Um, for the time being, I could check race here with a double back door. I actually think it will. In, against the click race, uh, you shouldn't have that many ace king set combinations. Uh, that sucks. I don't think I can wrap anything when I'm checking the checking the turn. Uh, yeah. So flop two and five card. I think I'll be played a little tricky here actually. This guy is well a non-believer. Um and well if you do Well, maybe a donation, but let's see his hand. Yeah, why not? Here, uh, nah, it's a positive bit. I do have some nice blocker value, though, but 
The flood score is probably dominated. Oh. At this table. Um, so here. I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and three bit here. Let's raise here. So, I might be in dire straits here. Let's see. Um, I'm going to check here at the five card table. See no reason in betting for the time being. And what do you know? Check race here. So, that basically sucks. I mean,. I think I have to let it go. Yeah. And here, uh, this guy definitely has aces, so let's see if we can outflop him. Hopefully, just aces without any flush draw. Uh, he's taking like forever, like, oh. Uh, such a tough decision, right? You got an SPR of basically one, sir. Hmm. Well. You might think that he's trapping here. Oh. <laughs> So, it happened. We got a five card table running. Here, uh, hmm. Well, it's got a bit cool, I guess. So, should be a nice flop here. Red draw, queen eye flush draw, back door not flush draw. Hmm. 
Kind of like makes sense that he got something here. So this might be a mistake, but I'm not going to check call. Well, it doesn't make much sense to check call. Yeah, sure, well played. Nice hit, sir. Oh yeah, that's basically, but just to set up. Oh, now that's pretty interesting. Uh, I think I will just slow play it here. Oh, that should be a nice flop for me. Well, it's an awesome, an awesome flop. So I doubt though that I can get him to bluff his stack away, but hopefully he will. Oh. Oh, that's the best turn got in the deck, I guess. Shop Kings, let's go. No redraw, please. Yeah. Mm. So unfortunately, he did have the wrap and the floss draw. I think I'll run it twice here. So probably accept. Let's see. That's once, one more time. No, should stick with running it once. Uh, so I should have pulled better than I would just, maybe I would actually have checked the, no, I think I would have bet it the flop, giving all the money that would be in the flop, be in the pot. So here this is kind of like an interesting size and hence that I'm blocking the well I'm not only blocking I do have the the nut draw. So I don't know what he's trying to achieve here. Here uh unfortunately a pretty bad flop against his range so here mm. well maybe he bluffed me maybe he didn't but I'm not interested in calling him down
So we've got a nice flop here in, at the five card table. I think I'm going to like I would do in any case. But half pot. No. Good check as well, of course, trying to induce it. So far, this tournament sucks. It's a triple suited hand here. Well, it is, it is a bit loose, three bits in here actually, but I think it's okay. Yeah. He does have a nice hand here, but should have some nice equity. Uh, this blows. And the reason it blows, I mean, I'm holding the back door five hard floss draw. Uh, yeah, I do have two pair, two pairs, but the kind of texture that these four bits in here this deep out of position. Well, first of all, it's they have some suitedness. Um, blocking zero heart, so he should have double. Well, double, triple suited uh, with not flush draw here. Oh, I kind of like thinking that he's going for chick rates here. Then I'm not blocking any ten jack, queen, kings, or whatsoever. So he do have a lot of. A lot of rap draws as well. Yeah. So let's peel a flop here. Hmm. Uh, interesting flop here. Let's bid it. See where we're at. Uh, and hopefully we're up against King Queen without a redraw here. Which we should be pretty often given that he's not chick racing. Uh, normally, I really, really don't like these insta bets, but mm, I think in this case, I'm actually going to call here. Uh, where am I? Well, he may. Yeah, let's see what he got. Yeah, exactly. So king queen, king king queen with the blogger. Uh, he should actually think for him it would be better to to lead the turn, giving that he had the blocker. So here, yeah, seems like you want to gamble now. Hmm. Now that's an interesting turn. I think I'll check race this guy actually.
it here. Let's see a flop. Oh. No aces, please. And ah, this blows big time, but we have to go with it. Nope. And nope. Oh. That really sucked. Both tables. So this guy, ah, would you please, I mean, oh, he had tens, wow, okay, okay, I can't complain. I thought he just had the, the rap draw that he went with, but no, he had the tens as well, so no complaints. Fair and square. It just blows. Hmm, that's a shame. Alrighty, so big pot coming up in the tournament. Uh, I'm not covering anybody though, so again, it's my ass in the line, but hopefully I can get myself a stack here with this hand. Yes, this guy's definitely going to call. Yeah. <sighs> yes, sure. Open ender, double back, those mover cards, but might be useless. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a fish. But well, he won. So 10k preflop with 2, 4, 4, 7, 10, jamming 5, 8, 9 flop. Just a pair of fours and the open ender. Uh, that's kind of like too aggressive but well that's why we play these tournaments right people they tend to play a really really wide range just sucks that we can't win our all ins So this guy wanna get okay, once again. Let's see if we can hit a flop here. Mm 
Oh, Queen 9 7. We are about to end up all in. So, what to do here? Two thirds, yeah. Let's go with two thirds. Probably has like, I don't know, King, 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 Chen or something like that. King, King, Chen, six or something, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that sucks, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, congratulations, sir. Well played if you got a straight here. He did. Ah, uh, he did. 5 8. Come on. Oh, this guy is really, really a pain in the ass. In my opinion, a pretty bad player, but. So we're getting all in five cut. So with forty percent, let's run it twice if you wanna. So that's split. Chop it up. Uh, click here in the. Where are we? In the tournament under the gun. The time being, I will play this guy a bit. Uh, it seems like I'm connecting pretty well against him, and he's pretty straightforward. Probably grinding too many tables for playing six card yellow heads up. Oh. So question is whether he's still straightforward here or is whether he is actually crushing us. We were just, well, I suppose making a move. Mm, so this is kind of like an interesting spot. Well, that makes it even more interesting. Yeah. Didn't want it to pair. Oh well, back to the six cup game. Here, facing a pot bet with just an over pair and a not flush draw.
they get to fold. So, oh, not the soccer straight here. Looks like we were good at least until the turn. Uh, definitely going to mm. Nah. Let's... Give him the benefit of the doubt. Tournament. Oh, this is really, really fishy, but this guy got a bounce. This guy got a bounce and recovering them both. So might not be as bad as it looks no we should soon consider an art rebuying anymore think here given the fact that he's raising pre-flop I think it's a fair flop it's a bit mm. so let's go for a fishing trip here might considering bluffing the hearts Considering bluffing anything here. Here. I'm not blocking anything. Oh. Now this is a nice kind of thing. I'm going to raise it straight away. He should have a lot of rap draws that, that can call. And then he might end up bluffing the... The flushes. So bluff it. Ship it in. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. And um, probably going to get check raised here, but what can we do? So here, yeah, this guy is such a, an amazing player. Not better. So here uh, should be a flip, right? Well, you want it. So yeah, basically this guy, I mean, he was kind of like tilted, wanted to gamble and just ran 
ran nice in his all ins and now he's like <sighs> well, oh well. Uh, nice. Nice, probably going to tilt it all away. Well, that would be my guess. Okay, so here, triple suited aces. Well, in general, I don't like to raise the variance, but I think it's fair to do so here. Uh, yeah. Can't do much here, I guess. So I don't know what this guy is up to. Probably think that he's like... Like a really, really good player. With C8. Oh, in my humble opinion. So, let's try another three bit here. Just have to ship it though. I really don't like it. Yeah, forty percent. Oh, we shipped it. That's nice. So let's pin a flop here. Uh, not the best flops.
So, kind of like an interesting spot here in the five car. I think I'm going to race in here. I mean, I'm blocking the top set. Blocking a hell of a lot of uh, straight rows as well. So, it should be pretty difficult. Great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pretty hard for him to to continue. Oh, so we flop the straight here, five way. Oh my! Got some backdoor draws as well. I think I'll have to call here, and then I'll have to fold if some. But it raises. Might be in a bad shape though, but let's see. Yeah, now I have to get rid of it, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh. So here, in, oh, <laughs> really? I lost that one as well. Wow, I'm running sick in this tournament. Well, looks like it's time for quitting this tournament soon, I guess. Seems like I just can't win an all-in. Well, not the best of flops. Uh, yeah, let's peel a flop here. I would suppose it's going to be three-way action. Oh, that's an interesting flop. I think we're going for the check race here. Can't get away here, can I? No. Good luck. So, 50 
58%. Let's run it twice. Let's see where it takes us. Yep, so far, no good. So, split pot. So we're in here. Mm, so, a spade, what a surprise. Uh, now to hell with this tournament, I mean like, I'm running so sick, so no reasoning for, for losing more money there. So Q Alan, um well, first of all, welcome to the stream, and uh, yeah, well, I'm playing at Suprema Poker, which is basically the, the largest union in Brazil. Um, and well, in my opinion, really, really nice software. Uh, so yeah, I hope that uh, answers your question. Um, what I'm playing here is well, it's in Brazil, Brazilian Liras, so you have to divide everything by five, more or less, to have it in uh, USD. So here, for an example, uh, the 1530 blinds is equal to three, six dollars. Uh, Well, go.
if we can start up some more action here Another six cut table. Oh, so here, well, mm -hmm. well, this might be a bad idea, but let's give it a shot. I mean, blocking two kings, right? And they should be capable of holding the the nine straight. Well, except this guy. Oh, get the nuts. Well. That's all right. Maybe a bad idea bluffing there, given the fact that they do have a lot of combinations, combinations including Ace King. Even though that I'm blocking it, so it's kind of like the obvious aces you can. Fine. Well, now we have to go for three streets here, I guess. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't think this guy is planning on folding here, so I guess I have to give it up. He's having a king high plus and going to calm down yet. So we got a spot in the five cut PLO. Raise pre bit flop. I think I'm going to second barrel here. Should have a lot of flush draws. Oh hopefully he do have like I don't know six to nine high diamonds here, but I doubt it. Yeah, we had some some gutters and some well, some gutters and the not flush draw. So hopefully, I can stack this dude now. 
feel like that that's kind of be like like fair hence that i've been running pretty pretty bad at the six card tables so let's get this half foot I am recovering here though. So rig back row here at the five card table. Uh, It's up here at the moment. So, flop trips here. It's a six card PLO game, but well, actually, I think this is one of those spots where I have to leave and can fold if I, if I face any further action. Uh Hmm. Yeah, not much to do here.
So yeah, now we ended up in a head sub match in the five cut pillow. This we have let's raise up this end. Let's sleep at this end as well. He has aces. What do you know? Well, good luck, sir. Uh, that's typical. Uh this guy I mean he's he's a decent player but he's running so good against me. I can't remember winning any all in against this guy. Yeah, whatever. What goes around comes around. Here, let's mm. free card. Oh, that's a nice free card. And shouldn't change too much. Let's see. I think I'm actually going to cut here. Or am I? Yes, I am. Well, by, s by some miracle, they might end up voting for a split, but, but I doubt it though. So yeah, where were we? This guy running in god mode against me. Here he is. Wow. What do you know? Just 10k above expected. Uh, but yeah, he's a decent player, no doubt. Just sucks that he's running like that against me. Should be a decent flop here.
So, let's see how this evolves. I mean, this guy is probably, well, definitely really loose, while this guy is, well, tidies. I think it's okay to bet here. Oh, I don't think I can continue here. It's too fishy. So, kind of fishy as well, but it's going to be three-way. This guy's been frustrated with the world. Uh, I think it's best to check call here. Check evaluate. Now, we hope that somebody might think that we're just trying to bluff it. So oh, let's put another flop against this guy. This guy's no, nope. no call this time. Oh, now this, this is a really, really nice flop. Damn it. <laughs>
Oh, that's a nice flop again here. Um, yeah, let's slow play it a little. Mm -hmm. Didn't make it worse. Well, in a kind of a bit worse actually, since well, would have better with like a jack or a queen or something. So he picked up some well, some equity or picked up a chop pair or something like that. It's hard to get any action uh, with the ace, of course. But well, can't complain when I'm winning money. So let's flop here. Well, <laughs> I think I have to go with a bluff here, but... Hmm. I have to go with a value bet, full to a race, I guess. Yeah. Nah, that's typical. That's typical. I don't think this guy's bluffing here. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? You can reload and take it all back. So, let the top set here at the six card table. It's been bleeding for the last couple of A couple of orbits. Uh, please. <laughs> oh, I have to check fold here. God damn it. Well, it's part of the game. Yeah, what a surprise. So yeah, running pretty bad here at this six card table. Lost approximately four buy-ins. But well, you win some, you lose some.
Oh well, well, back to the five galaxy for now. Action is pretty lame at the, at the moment though. So yeah, let's peel up plop here in position. Hmm, like the best flops. Should be a nice run out, let's see.
So, don't see the daisies here. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice flop. Should be a decent flop. Wow, now oh, that's a nice turn. Oh, let's see flop here. Mm, not the best of flops. So, I think we'll bet here for protection. And see any reasoning for betting here actually oh well this is kind of interesting um blocking the queen he should bet get queen on the flop uh he might be blocking the the eight straight which I can't beat, but I actually think that he's bluffing something worse here. All right, I'll donate.
<laughs> so this is pretty loose, obvious, but having an, enough plus draw here and getting it. Well, it should be five way action. Hmm. So now we would like the Jack of Clubs here at the turn. Four of Clubs would be a nice card as well, but no, not getting that, not getting there. So, I would guess this guy is going to get involved with us. He wants revenge. Well, hopefully he ain't getting it. It's a pretty neat flop. Uh, I think I'll check behind here, trying to look like aces and kings. Uh, Really? Well, I'm going to call here, but this dude probably... Yeah, what do you know? Ah, uh, just a nice little two-outer. I said this guy is running so sick against me. It's sickening, but well. Just fold as well, I suppose. And well, not much left here for me at this table. Alrighty, so back to the six card. Got some dude here who wants to play heads up.
Unfortunately, I'm not understanding Portuguese. So let's see what this guy is writing. So, uh, let's just peel off drop here for the time being. Uh, so I'm a little afraid that this guy may, might have aces here, so I'll just check it back. Well. Now I kind of hope he has aces. Mm -hmm. oh. Righty. So we got a flop here at the five card pillow table. I limped uh, into his straddle and he raised me up. So let's turn the card here. Oh, should be a nice turn card. I think I'll go for the chick race here. Hmm. Yappa dabba doo. Ship it. Here are. Let's three bet this guy. Back door over. I think I have to go with it. Though. I really don't like it. Well. Still don't like it, but. Yes, I have to go with it. Oh, we had six, eight. Yeah, let's run it twice. That's me. And that's me. Wow. This one. Got lucky there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I'll be off for, for a quick dinner break, but hang up tight. I will be back within a few minutes. Um, see you in a bit.
So, we're back. Sorry for the interruption. So this guy here, Nico, is kind of like frustrated with the world right now. Hopefully we can flop something nice here. Take his stack. Mm. That's really not the kind of flop I were hoping for. Oh, so this should be a nice flop here. Nice spot. This guy's pot leading this juice juice jackboard. And do much except just calling him down. Oh. <laughs> he might have jacks, but then again he might also just have a blocker jack, which is more likely given the fact that I have a jack. No, he yeah, had checks. Come on. Ah, must be nice. Anyways, we're going to quit this table in a bit, I guess, and win anything, and yeah, not the best of tables anyway, so not much reason in sticking around, well, except trying to recover a bit, but... Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Ah, uh, so let's see. Rest here. So no action whatsoever. What?
this in hand here in the six cut. Interesting flop. Interesting turn. Uh, I think I'm going to play this a bit tricky. Uh, not the card I was hoping for. Okay, back to the five card table. So see if we can bust this guy uh, let's check for the time being mm, no Interesting hand here again at the six card table. Oh, So, finally some five card action here. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe a bit fishy, but kind of like a non-believer right now. Uh, a bad feeling here. Well, <laughs> seriously,
should just fold the flop there. Even though I feel like this guy is like bluffing a lot. Let's go here and let's go for the this size. Hmm, should be a decent flop. Hmm, huh. righty. Interesting sizing. Well, if he got the nuts here, then he, he lured me and switch. That's a nice river for me. Hmm. I guess check race here. Alrighty. So no quads, please. Kind of like a weight spot. I'll go ahead with half a size bit here. So let's peel the flop here. Interesting.
Well, yes, if he has a bit, if he has a tennis here, then well played. So, <laughs> slow road? No, just drawing dead. Ship it. Oh, so well, let's do a flop here with three bit as well. So far, so good. Bet here. Hmm. Would have been an interesting turn. So, hmm.
Hmm, well, that's interesting. Unfortunately, I have to turn it into a bluff, I guess. It's worked. So, check high flush here. Should be good here, yeah. Let's raise it. Uh, ooh. I think I'll call it once here. Maybe that's a mistake actually, but well. And be undone now. And hopefully, so two is good here. Yeah, it worked. Hmm. Might actually have been better just to, I don't know, holding the nut blocker here. But then again, uh, here. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of like interesting. This lead. Oh, 
let's check back. Uh, oh, he did have the deuce. Wow. So here, righty, so let's check in here. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was talking about a table at the <laughs> the six cut pillow. So, anyways, uh, I think I'll call it a night. Um, everybody, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, please don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you like my content, and I should be back playing more Piro here tomorrow um, around well probably a little, little earlier than today but uh, around the same hour so hope to see you all tomorrow and uh, have a good night good day uh, wherever you you are in the world and uh, Take care. Bye.